All right, folks, big momentous day for me. I've taken my talents to New Jersey. That's right, I'm here in the Garden State. I am at Bud Lake in, uh, I don't know, I'll put the name of the town down here. Um, now I'm mostly, you know, I brought my uh, my bass setups, but, but I'm hoping to catch a new species today that will probably bite on the same kind of stuff. I am looking for Northern Pike. There are a lot more Northern Pike spots here in New Jersey than there are in New York. That is for certain, at least in our part of my part of New York. So uh, let's see, let's see what, what happens here. E either way, I'm excited to be at a new spot and in a new state. I've got two other videos on this channel, Fishing in New Jersey. Uh, I think, I don't think I have more than two, but they're both uh, saltwater and they're both from Atlantic City. So there's a much, there's a different part of the state and fresh water. Let's get the chesty on and get to work. All right, I have to say this little spot right here off the uh, parking lot looks pretty nice. I think we might be able to scare up something right here. I just scared up a frog or something. Oh yeah, this, this looks so nice. I don't know too much about pike. I haven't really read up too much on them. I, th I feel like this is a little more bassy than pikey right here. Okay, broke off on the old uh, drop shot, so switching to the war eagle. I feel like this could be good pike material. Okay, guys, I think I can do this. The problem is I have a terrible case of poison ivy right now, and uh, there's tons of poison ivy that I've noticed, but this, this little landing here looks alright. Plus I can cast out to that thing. Okay, long delay there. These bullet weights are hard to string braid through, but we're gonna try a uh, Texas rigged Paca Craw. Got the stopper on there. I'm not even exposing any of the hook because we keep having these weeds. They're still probably gonna get caught up on the uh, bullet weight, but doing the best we can here. Oops. Okay, back to where we began. I think this would be a great place to bring the kayak. I wasn't feeling enough energy to, you know, load it on the car and stuff today. Um, I thought there was a fee to uh, launch here, but it really does not appear that that's the case. I see tons of people just uh, dropping in after getting here and they don't seem to have any kind of permits on their boats or anything, so. Switch to the uh, Zoom Fluke Junior Albino color. I think it might be a little more visible in this very stained water. There we go. Finally. It's a crappie. A crappie. Okay, it's a decent sized crappie actually. You know what? Let's keep him alive while we look up New Jersey crappie regulations. Yeah, that's about a 10 inch crappie. Eight inches is the limit. We're going to take him because I don't know what else is going to happen today. Alright guys, that was more or less a bust. I did get a nice crappie that I'm gonna bring home and cook, so 
hopefully I didn't show you too much from Bud Lake and I'll show you more of a, of a catch and cook. But uh, it is worth coming back with my kayak and I will do that probably sooner than later. I'm, I'm liking this having this whole new state to explore here. So first order of business though is we gotta go get some ice for this poor guy. But uh, anyway, but I don't know, Bud Lake, I think it could be cool, could be cool on the ice, could be cool in the kayak. Not so great on a 90 degree day um, and uh, from the shore. Okay, see you in a bit. Hey guys, I know this video is kind of weird and all over the place and we're gonna go in the kitchen and, and do something weird with the crappy in just a second, but I did wanna show you something. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you know that I, uh, I started my first ever vegetable garden this spring during the uh, quarantine time, you know, that we're still kind of in, but um, Anyway, I just wanted to take you on a quick tour because some of this, some of what I'm growing here, if it all goes well, could be featured in future catch and cook videos. Um, so this is the space. Now you'll notice there are a lot of uh, grassy, weedy things growing in here. And the reason that I haven't really done much weeding um, is that I'm not sure what's a weed and what's a plant. So right here, you're supposed to have uh, beefsteak tomatoes. Here we have carrots, and these are definitely some carrot plants growing. This may be a jalapeno pepper, uh, or this may be a jalapeno pepper, because they both look different, and uh, who knows, maybe neither of them are. Maybe they're all weeds. But anyway, moving along, these are definitely cucumbers. They're actually looking pretty good. Um, these are definitely habanero peppers, which uh, this and the ghost peppers beyond them, which are doing even better, are the only things that uh, were not uh, seeds when I got them. These I bought as little baby plants. I do, I think I need to do some transplanting because they look uh, way too close together. Um, this here is Swiss chard. These are bush beans. This is romaine lettuce. Some of it, of course. I know there's grass there too, which I should probably take care of. This insane patch right here. These are all radishes. Uh, I definitely need to do some thinning or they probably won't uh, grow to their full potential. And I think I planted onions in here somewhere, but I have no idea what, what to be looking for. That's what I need to look up is like what you look for. Um, you know, when you first, when they, when they, when you have like young plants, because it's yeah, that's one reason I haven't been weeding, is I don't know what I'm looking for here. Um, I also put watermelon somewhere here. Is it possible that this could be a watermelon? I don't freaking know. But um, anyway, just thought I'd show you that. Um, oh, and the daylilies. The daylilies are finally blooming. Well, it's about the right time for that. Anyway, let's go to the kitchen. Alright guys, welcome to the kitchen. I have a very weird experimental idea here. What we're going to try to do is make crappy stuffed peppers. These are Cubanella peppers. Um, I, I originally wanted to do it with uh, jalapenos, but my local uh, little deli market did not have any, and I'm still kind of weird about going to uh, big grocery stores with lots of people. But anyway, um, so we're going to uh, we're going to try to do this. What we're going to do is uh, stuff these guys with rice jasmine rice because it's the only rice I have right now chopped up crappie of course fillets capers diced pickled jalapenos I was able to find these Monterey Jack cheese pepper jack cheese whatever and jury's still out on this but I think I'm gonna do diced tomatoes um, again this is gonna be very experimental I don't really have a recipe that I'm following. I did boil the peppers for five or six minutes to make them a little softer. I read that that was a, something that sometimes people do. The rice should steam itself inside the peppers. And we're gonna put it in the oven probably for around 30 minutes at 350 degrees because again, that's uh, what I found after a brief search online. All right, so we have one very narrow pepper. We're actually going to slice it down the middle make it like a stuffed canoe. The boiling actually took most of the seeds out as well as when I pulled the stem out the seeds came with it so um, that'll be good. 
Now these guys, these guys I'm gonna actually try to, you know, stuff. So we'll just hold on to that. All right, this one kind of ripped down the middle, unfortunately, but uh, we'll make it work. We'll close it up when we need to. All right, so we're just gonna mix everything in this bowl. Again, I really don't know what I'm doing here. All right, so this is about this is about half the jar of jalapenos. I'm just gonna dice them up. You might want to use gloves for this, um, even with jalapenos, which are you know relatively mild compared to some peppers. Um, the oils can get into your skin. Trust me, it's happened to me many times, and it's uh, it's not it's not fun. It's not pleasant, but I'm willing to take one for the team today. Peppers look nice and diced. We're gonna to toss them in with the rice and mix everything together in a sec. All right, I think I will use the diced tomatoes, but maybe only about half the can. Good. All right, so I'm thinking shredding maybe about half the block of cheese here. Okay, that turned into way more cheese than I was expecting, but that's okay. How about some capers? That seems good. All right, so now we have our fish fillets. We're gonna chop them up. I did include the skin. I know it might be a little tough, but skin's got good flavor, so I don't care. All right, that's good enough, I think. Toss that in the bowl. All right, so all the ingredients that need to be in the bowl are in the bowl. Let me get a spoon, do this in a civilized way. All right, I'm preheating the oven. Of course, we have a an oiled pan, just brush some oil. This was grapeseed oil, but it's really just because I don't have any more olive oil. Um, hopefully that works. So now it's time to ladle out our mixture into our peppers. Okay, so this guy kind of exploded, but uh, we'll, we'll just close him up. So we'll just try to eh, close him up a little bit. Good enough. And now here's the only one, here's the only one that we can legitimately stuff. So I'm gonna try to be very careful. Try to be very careful with this guy. All right, that's about as, about as stuffed as I can get it. All right, guys, I don't know. I don't know. These are about as ready as they can be for the oven. So uh, just waiting for it to heat up here, and we'll put them inside and hope for the best. Fingers crossed. All right, guys, the oven's hot enough, so we're going to uh, put them in. I actually ended up pouring the rest of that can of tomatoes on top of these guys, pretty much just because what, are, what am I going to do with a uh, half a can of tomatoes in my fridge? It'll probably just sit there and get old and moldy. So anyway, let's put it inside. All right, now we're gonna put it in there for at least 30 minutes. We'll check on it and uh, then we'll taste it. All right guys, we're gonna turn the stove off, take this out. I actually let it go for 55 zero minutes because, um, not so much because of I was worried about the fish cooking, but because the rice seemed kind of crispy I thought that the, you know, just the juices would uh, naturally kind of steam the rice, and maybe it did, but on the outside it's a little crispy, but um, I, I'm going to guess that on the inside it's fine. Um, you can see there's some, you know, burnt stuff around here, but we're going to take it up onto the deck and uh, give it a taste test, so we'll see you up there. Okay guys, moment of the truth, as Leo Shang would say. We're going to try it. I haven't even tasted a single bit of it yet. Um, like I said, my concern is some of this outside rice is still kind of crispy, but I think that the inner rice will be plenty, uh, plenty steamy and, you know, moist. So let's try, uh, let's try this guy first. This is the one that kind of, uh, you know, was never really stuffed. It was more just topped. I'll make sure there's fish in there. Yeah, there's fish in there. Feels like there also might be a, a bone or two in there, but that's okay. 
It might just be the crispy rice. It's good. It's tasty. It's reminiscent of just a regular stuffed pepper, you know, with like beef or something. Good choice with the cubanelle pepper. It's it's not very hot, but it, it's got a, a little bit of zing to it. And uh, it's pleasing to the tongue. Let me take another, another bite. Yeah, it's savory. You definitely get the uh, also a little bit of that that spice from the uh, pepper jack cheese. Um, I have to say I'm I'm very happy. It's 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 hearty and um, makes a good meal. Um, I think I think the tomatoes were a good decision in the end. The capers give it kind of that saltiness. Love capers. Don't sleep on the capers. Let me try. Let's see how these this this one turned out. This is the only one that's legitimately stuffed. This one, remember, kind of exploded, but more or less stuffed. But let me try this guy. This really came out great. I'd be lying if I told you that the crappy really shines here, but it doesn't detract. It does not detract. This is delicious. And a good example of how you can make, you, you can take your lemons and make lemonade. I caught one fish yesterday, all, drove all the way out to, that must have taken me an hour at least, driving out to Bud Lake. Caught one fish, it was mostly miserable. You're not gonna see most of that, but that one fish gave me this. And this is wonderful. By the way, don't hate on Natty on natter days. This is good stuff too. So anyway, hope you found this interesting. You should try this yourself. It's great. Um, like, subscribe, and fish like there's no tomorrow. Peace.